happens when we do, like Brazil and India ban child labor on tobacco farms, but we don't, there's something wrong there. Um, I've been working, um, a, piece, a piece of legislation I got passed as a freshman um, was the Affordable Housing Trust Fund. And uh, I'm working on getting a dedicated source of revenue for that Affordable Housing Trust Fund. Trying to fix um, some stocking issues, women's stocking issues, that uh, still we can't get done. Um, and then when it comes to the environment, this is something I care deeply about. Uh, and I've worked almost all my entire career on. And the fact that we can't get a renewable portfolio standard done in Virginia, just dismissed out of hand, is offensive to me. The fact that we can't get third party power purchase agreements done. The fact that we, Georgia, will get rid of standby charges, which are basically taxing the sun, allowing a utility to tax the sun. If someone has a solar uh, unit on their house, um, the Appalachian Power right now uh, is allowed to go in and charge them for not being on the, on the grid. Does that make sense to you? Doesn't make sense to me. Georgia got rid of it, we didn't. Um, I want to thank you guys for everything you do and for being strong advocates and being there for us. A lot of the time, it gets lonely in the House of Delegates. There are 32 of us and there are 68 of them. And half of them are dyed in wool tea party folks. Dyed in the wool. Um, I am the minority whip for the House Democratic Caucus and I'm also the campaign chair. I see hope in the future. Not Patrick Hope, he's not here. I'm talking about <laughs> hope. Because we have litigation that just got done in the Alabama case in the, federal, in the Supreme Court. It's coming back, it was remanded to Virginia. And not only are they going to be addressing the third congressional district, they're also going to be addressing 12 House delegate races, which will mean that we will, there's a very good chance we see a redrawn, redrawn map in the next year or two. Which means that there's a lot of hope for us to pick up seats and to change the dynamic. And it would be just like it was in 81, 82, 83, possibly, where we have elections in 15, 16, and 17. But we need your help, we need your support. And uh, if you care like I do, we need your passion. So thank you very much. Uh, will the Anti-Dream Act be back in some other form in the next session? You'd think they would get a clue. Um, but uh, there's definitely a chance that it will come back because I don't put anything past some of these folks. Uh, Y'all, let's be prepared. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to